aerosolized microwave clouds look like. That's what they look like. And we have the meteorological community telling us this is normal. <laughs> and consider what the science community does after Fukushima. They raised the quote-unquote safe level of radiation by 10,000%. What changed? They make it up as they go, and we have an academic system that has been bought, sold, and paid for by the power structure. These clouds, as you see, are aerosolized with electrically conductive nanoparticulates that can be manipulated when exposed to radio frequencies that can cause them to repel each other. So you get an appearance, if you put iron shavings on a table with a magnet underneath, they align. And this is the same scenario we see in our clouds. So this is how they're trying to create as much cloud cover as possible, however toxic, however damaging to the atmosphere, that's their goal. This is part of how they accomplish it. These clouds are absolutely, indisputably being exposed to radio frequency transmission and they're heavy, heavily aerosolized. We have aluminum in the chemtrails. And the aluminum in the chemtrails enhances the effects of harp. And harp is sending out electro low, no, ex, extreme or extra low frequencies. And these frequencies work with or against or in or through our bodily systems. Because as I said, we are electrical beings. That's why homeopathy works. It's frequency information. And so heart can change our thoughts, thoughts and emotions and give us anxiety and ability to concentrate and depression. Barium is also very nice stuff that helps to steer the jet stream which is interesting you can you can manipulate the weather and the climate but barium makes us more vulnerable for x-band radar and also barium takes potassium out of the human organism and we have in our cells this sodium potassium pump to bring stuff in and out of the cells so if that's out of whack you see what will happen you will be less healthy than you could be and because there's less potassium you have more uh, risk on muscle weakness and heart defibrillation and then there's another thing the magnesium that you get not too much from your food but because in, in the soil there's not so much magnesium here but any magnesium that is in your body can bind to the aluminum and give blood clotting there are many many people on blood thinners, warfarin, coumadin. But what they do, do, they do is calcify the arteries and erase short-term memory. So the minions can do whatever they do over and over and over again as long as you are on warfarin and coumadin. And the barium and aluminum together, they work to diffuse and strengthen an electrical charge. And since, again, we are electrical beings, there is an effect bodily on and in our minds as well. This is an